More than five years ago, genocidal attacks in the Darfur region of Sudan forced hundreds of thousands of men, women, and children into flight. They left behind everything they had and all they had known. I visited some of the survivors who had made it across Sudan's borders into neighboring eastern Chad. More than a quarter of a million refugees from Darfur live in camps along this border. Over 20,000 of these refugees live in the Farshana refugee camp. 60% of them are women and children. Many have lived there since 2003, when their villages were burned, bombed, and looted in waves of violence unleashed on their villages by the Sudanese armed forces and its proxy militias, the Janjaweed. International aid agencies provide these refugees with necessities, including food rations, shelter, basic health care, and primary education. But still, life in the camps is difficult, and there is a great deal of work to be done by the refugees. Much of the hard work is done by the women. They wait in long lines to pump the water their families need to survive. They walk for miles to gather enough firewood for cooking. It is on these long walks that so many women are raped, either by the Janjaweed who have crossed the border, or by Chadian villagers taking advantage of the women's defenselessness. The elements, too, make life difficult in eastern Chad. Temperatures often climb past 115 degrees, and sandstorms can be blinding. The land is dry and arid, making it difficult to grow crops. One refugee said to me, in Darfur, at least there were trees. Aid agencies provide education to boys and girls through primary school, but there's not enough money or qualified teachers to provide secondary education. There is little for the adults to do. They long to go home, but they cannot do so until it is safe. And as the Sudanese government continues to bomb villages and massacre unarmed, displaced civilians, that safety seems a long way off.